Right, the penultimate race of the day, the third race of Toronto. There's another race of Toronto after this. This is the Canada Crystal Cup uh, Group 1 Handicap for three years and up. It's for 9,230 rated horses. Paul Rhodes, Looney Tunes, Harbour in October, Graham Clutterbuck, Haribo Turk, Davy Robertson, Trouble Scene, Leon from Rensburg, Gia Shah and his sister, Graham Clutterbuck, Bobby Soxer, John Morgan, Lakeland Highlands, Darren Thompson, Miami, Craig Berkworth, and Validation, Joshua Sutherland. Those are the nine horses here in the Canada Crystal Cup. They're at the start. And away they go. Lakeland Highlands away well for Darren Thompson. Out wide as validation for Joshua Sutton as red and black stripes. Just behind that, Looney Tunes for Paul Rhodes. Up on the rail we have Haribar Turk. Uh, on, out on the wide outside is John Morgan's Bobby Soxer. Just behind horses is Harbour in October. At the back of the field we have on the inside Dishani's sister with trouble seen on the outside of Miami. He's only about six lengths first to last year as validation takes him along with Looney Tunes uh, in second. That's the Gold Cup winner. Uh, on the rail is Harabar Turk L between horses is Lakeland Highlands. Then comes Harbour in October on the inside of Bobby Soxer. Uh, behind that Dishani's sister with uh, trouble seen on the outside of Miami. Six lengths first to last year as validation takes him along for Joshua Sutherland from Lakeland Highlands in second for Darren Thompson on the rail is Haribar Turk. Uh, just on the outside that is Harbour in October. Looney Tunes travelling well enough for Paul Rhodes uh, in about fourth position with his outside Bobby Soxer. Then comes a two lengths back to High Rise who's on the inside of uh, Trouble Scene. Gia Shani's sister on the inside for Graham Clutterbuck. It's validation Four lengths clear of Lakeland Highlands in second. Bobby Soxer on the outside of Lakeland Highlands. Looney Tunes in those light purple colours just on the outside of uh, Harbour in October. And on the rail is the grey horse Haribo Turk. Uh, length further back to, to High Rise and uh, Trouble Scene. It's Miami and Trouble Scene and uh, Shani's sister at the back of the field for Graham Clutterbuck. So validation. As they approach the straight for the first time, a comfortable leader, four lengths clear of Darren Thompson's Lakeland Highlands. Uh, it has maroon colours with the white sleeves, two lengths further back to Looney Tunes for Paul Rhodes. That's the Gold Cup winner on the inside of Bobby Soxer. On the rail is Harbour Turk with Harbour in October and that one's outside. They're followed by Dear Shani's sister who's pushing up between horses. Uh, Trouble scene is trapped wide and Miami at the back of the field for Craig Beckwith. They come down the straight for the first time and this validation has got clear of about six lengths from Lakeland Highlands. Looney Tunes travelled really well in third. Looks uh, like he's going well today. Now on the outside of that is Bobby Soxer. Harbour in October is on the inside of Stable Companion Dushani Sister. The rail is the grey horse uh, Haribar Turk. Uh, trouble seen is past his horses but going wide to do so. And in the back of the field is Miami for Craig Beckwith. There's about t uh, 10 lengths first to last year as validation is about six lengths clear of Looney Tunes and Lakeland Highlands. Haribo Turk is up on the inside the grey horse for Davy Robertson. The black colours is John Morgan's uh, Bobby Soxer. Then comes the two Graham Clutterbuck horses. Harbour and October is in the blue colours. The Shani sisters in these uh, white, green and um, red colours. Then comes Trouble Scene in the dark blue colours on the inside of Miami for Craig Beckwith. Seven furlongs left to travel and it's validation. Not so far clear now. From in second, Lakeland Highlands. Looney Tunes is making an early move for Paul Rhodes. Then comes Harabar Turk with Bobby Soxer behind it and the two Graham Clutterbucks. No move from them yet. Harbour in October and Deshaun, his sister. Miami being pushed along on the inside and trouble scene at the back of the field. So in a matter of a few strides, Validation has been joined by Looney Tunes, who's travelling really powerfully in second. Then comes Lakeland Highlands back in third. Haribo Turk is in fourth. But a three lengths back, great back to Bobby Soxer. Uh, pushed along now, Deshani's sister. No move yet from Harbour in October. Miami, trouble scenes trying to run on. It's Validation in front, but Looney Tunes is going powerfully in second. Then comes a pushed along Lakeland Highlands. Haribo Turk behind that, running on now. It's Harbour in October and also trouble scene. Bobby Soxer trying to get going, but Looney Tunes has got to the front here from Validation. It's Looney Tunes who starts to draw clear now from Validation as they start to turn for home and it's Looney Tunes for the Professor Paul Rhodes as Looney Tunes comes to the front and the Gold Cup winner has gone to the front here under this wealth of burden of 10 stones but he's making light work of that. Looney Tunes has gone two, three lengths clear and it's only a matter of how far he's going to win by now because it's all Looney Tunes in the Canada Crystal Cup. It's Looney Tunes with a full on to go. He's carrying 10 stone but it's making, it makes no 
difference and Looney Tunes is well clear. Looney Tunes is going to win the Canada Crystal Cup comfortably from in second validation. Harambe in October might challenge for that. Looney Tunes wins by about six lengths from Harambe in October in second. Validation was third. Lakeland Highlands was fourth. What a performance and a top weight. This horse -hall seems to love soft ground. Looney Tunes wins comfortably. Absolute monster performance by Looney Tunes. Harbour in October in second. Validation was third for Joshua Sutherland. Uh, fourth was Lakeland Highlands. And Harbour Turk was fifth for Davy Robertson. Good to firm ground for Looney Tunes. He likes the faster ground, I think.